As Stanley Cups continue their rise in popularity, there's concerns the tumblers contain traces of lead. The company says while the chemical is indeed part of the bottle, it poses no harm to consumers. The popular product made headlines last year. People waited in long lines, social media users put out unboxing videos, and some even showed up on reselling websites like eBay. But some consumers also posted videos of positive results from at-home lead tests. In a statement on its website, Stanley touts its vacuum insulation to keep drinks at ideal temperatures. The company goes on to say the sealing material contains some lead, but is then covered with stainless steel. The company says, quote, rest assured that no lead is present on the surface of any Stanley product that comes into contact with the consumer nor the contents of the product. Stanley says in the rare case the seal is exposed, customers are eligible for the company's lifetime warranty. Environmental chemistry professor Kevin Wilkinson says new bottles are unlikely to have much issue. And if it's covered with either another metal or it's, it, the, the lead is pacified somehow, then uh, it shouldn't be a problem. But those customers with wear and tear should be cautious. Then you can get some lead coming into, into the solution. He adds in those cases, acidic drinks or soups can pull the lead out much faster. Health Canada notes exposure to higher levels of lead can cause various health issues, including anemia and vomiting. Stanley says its products comply with U.S. FDA requirements and must pass rigorous safety tests before being sold. But the company says customers can contact them directly if they have concerns. Sean Preville, Global News.